what role is social media playing in the decimation of the teachings and does it matter in the long term? Should the internet be shunned or as some advocate, or should the internet be shunned as, as some advocate? Why or why not? My goodness, God damn. <laughs> this is what you call a journalism, a loaded question. <laughs> A loaded question is when you imply what you already feeling into the question itself and I gotta either say yay or nay. So basically, <laughs> is the internet some bullshit that has ruined the culture or nah? And it's like, nah, you can't ruin this culture. See, this culture is the original culture. This culture is nature. But you can't ruin this culture. Now, if you wanna call something a nation of gods and nurse and say we gotta be a certain way, yeah, you could ruin that. Truth is, like, there's very traditional ways that, like, we're supposed to go through our lessons. There's a lot of people now that don't know their lessons and they ain't got no Instagram. That's that's why they don't know their lessons, because of Instagram? No. They don't know their lessons because they don't want to know their lessons. That's as simple as that. So the culture really got to be about how much is you in it, not is you in it because the other people is in it. So you got a lot of people now, they're doing social media, and they learning to be newborns. There's a ton of newborns. The guy was just building, like, yo, there's a ton of newborns that thanks to his books, these videos, other things, they want the knowledge themselves. They don't know how to get it, and there ain't no community for them to get it from. <laughs> so because there ain't no community for them to get it from, they making it up as they go. And it do look weird. And because there ain't a lot of... God, you had to... There was some dude, you had to pull him to the side and build with him. Motherfucker had a top button, look like me a little bit. I don't... I don't know his story. I just seen that he said, yo, thankful for the building, you clearing them up on some things. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. But if nobody's did it, like by who and them, by who somebody on the internet was talking something that was not what we teach, they pulled him to the side and, you know, filmed the session of him, you know, going through his shit, them going through whatever they had to go through to identify what was right and exact. Now, when we was getting this knowledge, we got to see experience like this in person. It was a normal thing of the culture. Nowadays, not so much. There ain't no... There's no men calling out men. That's why we got our R. Kelly situation right now. Because we haven't really implemented the cultural protocol of men calling out men and checks and balances, you name it. You gotta bring that back. Mm. And, and the only way you bring it back is you gotta want it. Like, I was just, this morning, just like, man. Please don't ask me today's degree in the 1 to 40 right now. Not damn it on camera, god damn it. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking for guys to start asking each other degrees more. Cause it's been a while since anybody asked me, not even a degree, not even a lesson, but just like, ask me how I see something to let me know that you thinking about that same something. Like ask me about how to reach the 85% so I know it's on your mind. You know what I mean? But it, but see the thing is when we in the same industry and I'm supposed to be a plumber and you're supposed to be a plumber and you never ask me no plumbing questions and you keep on asking me about baby mama stuff, I'm gonna realize you're more interested in baby mama business than plumbing. And if I'm striving to excel in the plumbing world, I'm not gonna wanna keep on talking to you cause you don't got no plumbing expertise. You got baby mama not even expertise, most likely problems. Hmm. Now if I'm trying to go to the baby mama support group, then maybe I'll kick it with you. Or if I'm trying to be in that self-pity party, we all struggling, oh man, I know that feeling. Oh man, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm not striving to be in that circle. Not anymore. I know what it's like to be there. I spent a lot of time there. I just don't want to go back. If Mega did this.